The Alabama State Parole Board hereby grants parole to Hoskalar Ali, subject to having served eight years at Pine Ridge Correctional Institute for a second degree murder of a cab driver in conjunction with a film station robbery involving attempted kidnapping of attendant. Crime occurred during his escape from Lakewood State Prison, where subject Hoskalar was serving three years for forgery and prostitution. Extensive juvenile records for the state of Kentucky appended here too. Subject now considered completely rehabilitated, is returned to Kentucky on an interstate parole agreement in consideration of family residence and appropriate support personnel in the area. Subject will remain under the supervision of Kentucky parole officers for a period of five years. Prospects for successful integration in the community rate of good. Psychological evaluation, institutional history and health records attached in Appendix C, this document. Get that haircut today, honey. 
I just didn't want you to give me $20 to Walton gave you to the first pusher you come across. That's what you think I've been waiting for? Yeah. God Almighty. I hate to think that you've done it at first, so brother tried to make you out of that first case. Huh? You got credit, all the girl. I got to credit you for that. Screaming, you do wait the day. Officer! Ain't nobody can teach you the wrong place. Yeah. Listen. Oh, you Every prisoner in Alabama is using black and folk now. You can just shut up. Just any time now. Some of the officers are pretty leery of you, even the chaplain. No, he wasn't either. Not me, though. He was just oh, wild, that's face. all. Animals is wild, not people. Bringing me my food in there. What was that boy's chaplain? No about wild, huh? Yeah. Okay. Not wild. Shit. But you got grit, Harley. I have said for you to call me Arlene. Okay, yeah. okay. You want me to call you Arlene? Arlene it is. Yes, ma'am. Now. Where do you want this? Oh, lean. I said, where do you want this trunk? I don't care. No! I've seen it there too long. Maybe uh, over here. I could sit and put a cloth on it and look up. What are these bars doing here? Uh, I think they keep out the burglars, you know. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> oh, we ain't breaking in, cop. Uh, we just admiring this beautiful window. Well, I don't want them there. Pull them out. Well, if you can't go tear up the place, I'll leave the landlord on the building. On this garbage can't Wouldn't like that, not right. one bit. I ain't gonna have no landlord telling me what to do. The landlord on the building. You have to do what he says, and I'm gonna throw you right out with that pretty fuck up, You just shut up. I ain't gonna have no dirty talk. Why don't you go bust a wine or something? Here. Put the trunk over here. What you got in here, anyhow? Rocks. <laughs> Rocks from the rock pile? That ain't funny. Oh, sweet. And I ain't, I ain't too sweet. By that. We really did have us a rock pile, you know, at the old men's prison. Yes, we did. By the time them boys in nine or ten years came them rocks around, they was pretty man, I'm here to tell you, and strong. Well, what'd you expect? Well, you're telling me. It was dumb. I kept telling the walking man they could have killed us all easy any time, that outfit. Except we didn't have the guns. Mm -hmm. One old bastard said I was throwing rock at me and would have taken my eye out. If I hadn't turned around just then, hell, I still got this gun. See? Shoot him. Somebody else did. I forgot who. Hey. These bars won't be so bad. Maybe you can uh, get some plants, you know? Some plants so you don't even see them. Yeah, plants do it up just fine. Just fine. Chaplain, give me this. Oh, he got that for free, I bet. Now look here. That chaplain was good to me so you can shut up about him. <laughs> fine, fine. Yeah, might as well be useful before you go. Well, where you want it? Don't matter. Of course it matters. You wouldn't want me put it inside the closet now, would you? Huh? You gotta make decisions now, Arlene. Okay. You gotta decide things. Arlene? There! Yeah. Good place for it. See the first thing when you get up. Way he's getting out of bars. And so now here's pretty loose, though. I can find something to fix it somewhere or other.
bought me my ass. So where is it now? Got it up your pookie out there. Well, that'd be real good, Doc, coming back to me with my fingers up here. Roll over, my. Don't weigh harder than nothing, do you, Dolly? No, I ain't never seen about no mustache either. Huh? The picture? Oh, no. That wasn't hard at all. Don't you know about hiding the sea car with a girl? You're gonna hide something. You hide where it's fun to find it. Crazy fucking. Someday, we ain't gonna come and save you, bitch. Well, all the girl, that old trunk's about as empty as my belly. You have been talking about your belly ever since we left this morning. You're hungry? Them hot dogs we had give out around Nashville. No, not really. But you gotta eat all in. Says who? How about I pick us up some chicken? Give you time to clean yourself up and we'll have a nice little dinner just the two of I get sick if I eat this late, so I have some time. Well, you'll feel better as soon as you get something on your stomach. Like I always say, you can't fly unless you feed the mule. You. I ain't never heard you say that. There's lots you don't know about me. <laughs> You've been seeing me every day, but you ain't been paying attention. You're gonna like me now that we're out. You was always out. Yeah, so I'm on life being retired, and I can take care of you like I've been. You said you was just so taking a vacation. Well, I was going to tell you. You said you ain't never seen Kentucky like you always wanted to. You had some time off, nothing to do. Well, I figured you knew already. You said you ain't never seen Kentucky like you always wanted to. Now you tell me you done quit at the prison. Look, they wasn't going to let me drive you up here if I was still on the payroll, you know? Rules against the rules. It could have got me in big trouble doing that. You ain't going back to Pine Ridge. Nope. And you drove me all the way up here planning to stay. I was thinking on it, yeah. Well, what you gonna do? Hardware. Sell guns. Nails. I always wanted to. Some little store with bins and barrels full of nails and screws. You know, I count them out and put them in little sacks. I don't need nobody here reminding me where I've been. But we had us a good time driving up here now, didn't we? You throwing that tomato out of the car like that? Hitting that no ribbon sign square in the middle. That good arm you got. Don't you go grabbing me. Listen, you take off them clothes and have yourself a nice hot bath, see? I'm gonna start the water. Me, I'll get us some chicken. You want some slaw or potato salad? Don't matter. All in, slaw or potato salad? Slaw. One big bucket of slaw coming right up, and extra roll. You have yourself a nice bath, see? I'm gonna take my time so you have to hurry fixing yourself. I ain't gonna do no fixing. Oh, I know how you gals are when you're getting that tub. You got any bubbles? What? Bubbles. You know, something to make some bubbles with? Bubble bath? I thought you was going. Right. Right. Go on right now. That's a good, girlie. Get out. Hey, Doc says you got to take the sun today. I ain't hungry. You take it. You got to eat, Ollie. Says who? Says me. <laughs> Says the warden, says the Department of Corrections, to bring you two rolls. You know what you can do with your two rolls? Stuff them in your bra, why don't you? Ain't you got somebody to go beat up somewhere? <laughs> gotta see you get fattened up. What do you care? Oh, we care, all right. Got ourselves a two-way mirror in the shower room. You don't know which one it is, do you? Yes, ma'am. Feet. Sure do care if you go get into your skin. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We, we get a whole hog licking lot. Sons of bitches!
doesn't know if you go. Ain't I always? How are you? About the same. I'm glad to see you. You look tired. It was a long drive. Yeah, well, I see ain't fat. You up none. You always was too skinny. Should have beat you like that. Nobody said, baby. done this to me, Mama. He no. weren't a mean man, nor your daddy. No. Was my Remember that time he brought you that uh, black chewing gum when you were sick? I the remember he beat up on you. Yeah. The seat bumped me. He was real sorry to a couple of times. Filthy mm. mm -mm. dirty. Well, hey, brought you some stuff, just like candy, not to leave you nothing. Some kids I got. No, Mama, please don't touch it. It'll get well. It get well before. Uh, how, how is candy? You got her place, so what do you care? I got her out of my house, so what do I care? This place will be good for you. Wish there was a yard here. Nice thing, see? Bet you ain't had no colored towels where you been at. No. No place like home. Got that up on the kitchen wall now. I don't want no tea, Mama. Yeah? No? Yeah? You forget how to talk? I ain't gonna be here all that long. At least you can talk to me while I'm here. You ever get that swing you wanted? Uh, dish towels. And see here, juice and along this teapot. You drink tea already? No. June's having another baby. Don't know when to quit that girl, because I ain't one to talk. And Ray. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Joey? And I'm Ray ain't seen a day of luck in his life. Daddy didn't do nothing to me. He's being locked up now. He'll keep off June till the baby get here. Ask him. He saw me fall on my bike. Have seen Joey? And your daddy, your daddy ain't doing too good right now. Man been dying for the past 10 years. Hear him tell it. I don't know why. He just don't Mother! know. Mother! Yeah, I seen him. About two years ago. Got your nappy hair. You got a picture. You was right to get him up. You foster home bed. It's good for some kids. Where's my Joey bear? Mama? How'd you see him? Yellow Joey bear. Oh, I was down at the detention center picking up Pete. How is he? I could be working Mama. at the detention since I've been there so much. All I gotta do is have something big going on. I get a call to pick up one of you. Can't just have kids, no. Gotta be picking them up all over town. You was just telling me how you Pete's taller than You were just telling me how you saw I'm coming Joey. back in a cab and I see them waiting for the bus. What do you say? Oh, I ain't stopped. If the kid don't even know you, Arnie, he sure ain't gonna know who I am. How come he couldn't stay Cause early? Cause Shirley wasn't crazy about washing no more diapers. She's the only smart kid I got. Anyway, social worker told you she only put him there till she could find him. But her I could have seen her. Well, that'd have been trouble. The kid wouldn't have known who to listen to, Shirley or you, him being in the family and all. But I'm his mother. Well, now you ain't got to be worried about it. No kids? No worries. He just had his birthday, you know. Oh. Don't don't let Daddy come in here, Mama. Just you and me. No, when I get working, I get a nice rope for this place. He can come. He can come live here with me. Fat chance. I done my time. You ain't Mama. never really get attached to Mama, him. Mama, you know? Now go get no head up. But I do. Got you a spread. Kind of goes with them curtains. You ain't thank me, Ollie girl. They don't call me Ollie no more. It's Arlene now. Arlene, you're not awfully being kind for such a little girl. Hey. hey. That is you underneath all that hair, isn't it? Now you can watch where you're going. Gotta get home. But school isn't over for another three hours, and there's peanut butter and chili today. I ain't hungry. What do we have in our hands, Arlie? Nothing. Let me see your hands, Arlie. Open up your hands. It's my money. I earned it. And how did we earn this money? Doing things. What kind of things? On my daddy. Well, we'll see about that. 
You'll have to come with me. No! Ow! Oh, uh, no! Your mother was right after all. She said, put you in a special school. No, what she said was put you away somewhere. But I said, no, she's too young. Well, I was wrong. I had 400 other children to watch after here. And what have I been doing? Breaking up your fights, talking to your truant officer, and washing your riding off the bathroom wall while I've had enough. You made your choice. You want out of regular school, you're gonna get out of regular school. You can't make me go nowhere. Bitch. Oh! I'm not making you go. You've earned it. You've worked hard for this. Well, they're used to your type over there. They'll know exactly what to do with you. <sighs> Spread ain't new, but don't look so bad. I think we got around the same time we got you, Arla girl. No, I remember. <laughs> I was pregnant with you and have been real sick the whole time. <laughs> then here your daddy come in with this big bowl of chili and some jelly donuts that's fed from the airport, give him a big tip. Anyway, I've been eating peanut brittle all day, only thing tasted any good. Mm. Then in he come with this chili. No sooner I go to bed and I'm thrown up all over everywhere. Good thing I throw you up, Arla girl. So that's how come us to get this new spread, this one here. You ain't driving the cab, any? Any. Your daddy ain't drove that cab in a long time now. I don't know, six, seven years, maybe? You meet anybody nice? Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Mostly driving old ladies get their shoes. Mm -hmm. Guess we got around them nursing homes, I was reliable. <laughs> Remember that time I took you drive with me after you had that fight and I sold you Border Severe? Shitty place, hole in the wall. You made me wait in the car. Do you think I would take a child of mine into a dump like that? You went in. Weren't no harm in it. I ain't always looked so bad, you know. You was pretty. And you. You could look better than you do. Do something with your hair. I always thought if you looked better, you wouldn't have gotten so much trouble. Tell we got my hair. And skin. <laughs> I took some beauty school at Pine Ridge. Yeah? A beautician. I don't guess so. <laughs> Said you gonna work. They got law here. Ex-cons can't get no license. Should have stayed in Alabama then, work there. They got law there too. Then why'd they give you the training? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they thought it would straighten you out. Yeah. <laughs> But you all gonna work. Yep, cooking, something that pays good. You cook. I could learn it. Your daddy ain't never forgive you for that bologna sandwich. Ooh, I wish I could have been there and seen you spreading that Colgate on that bread. <laughs> oh. oh, he would have smelled that toothpaste if he hadn't been so sloshed. Snide nosed little kid <laughs> trying to kill her daddy with a bologna sandwich. And him being so pleased when you brought her to him. Mm, he beat me good. You gotta admit, all the girl, you had it coming. I guess. Oh. You got a broom? No. Well, I brought one just in case. It's in the cab. I can't leave it here, but I'll sweep up before I go. Now, you just rest, because you ain't going to find no work looking the way you do. Mm -hmm. She is well, not I, I guess I could put on some lipstick. She don't have to use them stinky relaxers in her hair. But she she just comes out there to the hair. She drives the cab to buy stuff. Because we don't need no charity from nobody. Because we got money. Because she earned it. She drives at night because people need rides at night. People go in to see their friends that are sick. People got their cars broken down. And they got to get to work at the... Hey, nobody calls me. I know who was going to sleep with your butt. I would have left this room in the cab. Get up. You're going to take it back. I'm going to rip out all your ugly hair and stick it down your ugly throat. You still got hair. This is going to take a razor blade to get out this pain. You want to know what I know about your mama? She's dying. Something's eating up her insides piece by piece. Only she don't want you to know it. So, you calling yourself Arlene now? Yes. Don't want your girly name no more. Something like that. They call you Arlene in prison. Not a person I've been hateful, just my number then. Mm -hmm. You always been hateful. 
There was this chap and he called me Arlene from the first time he come talk to me. Yeah, let me do it. I'll do it. You can rest. Since when? I ain't hateful. Why I got so many hateful kids? Poor dumb as hell Pat. He's stealing them wigs. Handy screwing since day one. He cutting up old Mac down at the grocery. June selling dope like it was Girl Scout cookies and juice. Thank God I can't remember it all. Maybe I could come out on Sunday. You still make that pot roast. That's your picture? That you have to give it to me. Wanna give you a new name? Yep. It's crooked. Like that ketchup squirter we had. The potatoes with no skins and that ketchup squirter is like a real restaurant. Them, them people that run them institutions there, they don't know how to train kids right. Let them run around and get in more trouble. What they need to do is get you up at the crack of dawn and set you scrubbing floors. That's what kids need training. Hard work. I'll probably get my Sundays off. Sunday's my day to do housework. I would have wrote you, but I ain't have nothing to say and no money to send, so what's the use? I made up. They pay you for work? About three dollars a month. Well, how you make it on three dollars a month? You do favor? You just can't make it by yourself. You play, Arlen? You don't know what you're talking about. I hear things. Yeah. Girls calling each other mommy, bringing things back from the canteen for their husbands. It makes me sick. You got family, Arlie. What you want with that plan? No, you don't know nothing about that. I still got two young kids at home. Don't want no bad example. I could tell them something. Oh, yeah? Like about that cab driver? Look, that was a long time ago. I want to work now and make something for myself. I learn to knit people buy a nice sweater. Make some extra money. We sure could use it. And then if I have extra money, maybe they'd let me take Joey to the fair and talk to him, buy him hot dogs, make sure he ain't fooling around. What makes you think he'll listen to you? Alice crossed the street. Her sister took care of her kids while she was away at Lexington. You think they pay any attention to her now? A shame, that's what. One of them done told me that his mama done died. Went to visit a friend and died there. Uh, be different with me and Joey. Oh, he don't even know who you are. Uh, uh, and you forgot already what you was like as a child, telling them lies that Waverly about how your daddy made you watch while being here. Oh, you know I'd have killed you if them social workers hadn't been watching. Yeah. Oh, and if, oh, what do they know? Each time you come out of one of the places, you be acting worse than ever. Mm -hmm. Go right back to that junkie pimp Carl, sell the things he steals, save his ass from the police. Did he follow you home this time? He did not follow more years at Bricktown. Well, glad to hear it. Here. So, you refuse to go to camp? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to your fucking camp. You know, camp is for babies. You can go shit in the woods if you want to, but I ain't going. You're going. Want a bit? Arlie, I'm waiting. Waiting Wait for what? For Carl to come and get me. And who is Carl? Just some guy we're going to Alabama. You don't go until we say you can go. Carl's got a car. Does he have a driver's license to go along with? I'm going now. <laughs> hey. June, uh, pick out a name for the name. Clara, Clarence. You got the name of some fancy chapel she you know? The test was negative. Well, I should know, shouldn't I? No, <clears throat> you want to be pregnant, is that it? I wouldn't mind. Kids need someone to raise them right. Well, raising children's a big responsibility, you know. I know that. I ain't dumb. Everybody's always thinking that I'm so dumb. You could learn if you wanted to. That's what the teachers are here for. <laughs> All they teach us about is geography, Africa, and jungles and shit. Now, why do I need to know about they that? They want you to know about other parts of the world. But I ain't going there, so what do I care? What's this about Cindy? She told Mr. Dolson some lies about me. I bet. 
She said I fucked my daddy for money. And what did you do when she said that? What do you think I did? I beat the shit out of her. And that's a good way to work out your problem? She ain't done it since. She's been in traction since. So? What do I care? She say it again and I will do it again! Bitch! I ain't got a can, just leave it. And let you sweep it up under the bed after I go? You're on unit cleanup this week. I done it last week. Then you should remember what to do. Session's over. Stand up straight and take off the hat. This your hat? No. Guess Candy must have left it here. Candy ain't leave nothing. Then whose is it? You know whose hat this is? I'm asking you a question and I want to answer. Whose hat is this? You tell me right now whose hat this is. It's Benny's. And who is Benny? God drove me home from Pine Ridge. A guard. I knew it! It's going a goddamn guard! He just drove me up here. Shut up! Oh. He just drove me up here. I get sick you if I get... You expect me to believe that? I get sick if I get on the bus. Yeah. I'm telling you, he just drove me up here. ain't gonna drive no girl 500 miles for nothing. She ain't never seen Kentucky. It ain't Kentucky he wants to. He done some nice things for me at, at Pine Ridge. Gum, funny stories. You be telling stories all right. Telling his buddies where to find you. He's out getting some dinner right now. Oh, he. And how you gonna pay for it, huh? You tell me that. I ain't like that no oh, more. Oh, you ain't? I'm your mother. I know what you mean. I tell you, I ain't. I knew it. And when you got another bastard in you, you don't come crying to me because I don't told you. Don't worry. And I'm gonna get myself out of here before your boyfriend comes back. He's my boyfriend. I bet a lot of that. But I ain't dumb, Arlene. I ain't say you was. Oh no, you lied to me. How? Hmm? You took you took my spread without saying thank you. You hitting that coming to my house for dinner like nothing ever happened. And all the time you hiding a goddamn guard under your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of meat makes a pot roast. A roast makes a pot roast. Buy a roast. Shoulder. Chuck. Are you gonna come back? You ain't got no need for me. <laughs> I gotta ask you. How come this time ain't nobody asked me, didn't I? Just forget it. And if I hadn't told them about this place, you wouldn't be out right now. How Fuck that! Don't you, you dare talk to me like that! You remember who I am! I'm the one who took you back after all you've done all them years! I'm the one brought you that tea, but I scrubbed your place. You remember that when you talked to me. Sure. Uh-uh. I know that shouldn't have come. I know that you ain't changed one bit. Same hateful brat, right? Same hateful brat, right? Mama. Don't you touch me. No. Don't you touch Mama, Arlie. Arlie got a boyfriend. Arlie got a boyfriend. Give me that name. Arlie got a boyfriend. I'll eat all Mama's precious fuck rose. You'll tell the doctor on me. Get your private room back. No, don't you judge Mama, Arlie. Cause you might slit Mama's throat. Tell me who gave it to you. No, you tell me where it's at. It's right here. Come and get it. Oh, no, that was really ignorant, you stupid pig. Oh, no, just reach right in. First come, first serve. Are you gonna pee after I throw your weenie over the fence, huh? You ain't gonna do that, girl. You are gonna fall in love. Ah! Ah! Holy! Ah. Whoa! Holy! Help! 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 Three more weeks of isolation, Holly! Are you all right? Can you walk? She was trying to kill me. Easy now, Ronnie. You should have known better. You'll get your crap!
matter of professional pride. Oh, come on, baby. Don't come in here. <laughs> Why not? I've seen it all before, girl. Well, I'm, I'm getting out. I'm gonna sit down or something. I ain't got the time. I just came by to tell you tomorrow we be taking our fate to the New York Street. I'm gonna fuck around with these jive ass southern turkeys. I'm gonna get you some red shades, some red shorts. The Johns, they gonna be lining up before we hit town. Poetry tonight, huh? How's that sound? No use wearing out that cute ass you got. The way I hear it, the only way to get busted up there is to be stupid. <clears throat> I ain't lived this long. <coughs> That's exactly how you lived your whole life, being stupid. Oh, I let me sweet sugar. Still got your curls? You're looking okay yourself. Oh, Carl! What, I ran up your door or something? You done broke out once, but now, sent to Pine Ridge, and got paroled since I've been in. I got brought to a little free time too, ain't that right? Did you escape? Am I standing here? Or am I standing here? <laughs> They've been fucking with you, I can tell. They ain't gonna catch you. Uh-uh, not where we're going. Not a chance. And where you going, they ain't gonna catch you. Remember that green hat you picked up for me down in Burgundy? Huh? Why well, I ain't never wore it since. But I can wear it up in New York City, cause in New York City, you wear whatever you feel like. This one guy told me, he saw this dude wearing a whole ring of feathers around his leg. Right here. He's wearing it no circus. Or no Indian either. I ain't seen you since Birmingham. How come you think oh, I want to see you now? I ain't going with that dude. He's weird. We got to get the John's money. That's how come. I don't know what working for me. Work? Yeah. <laughs> What's this work? You always sending me to my droolers. You can do two things. You know, they tie me to the bed. They slobber all over me. So I made real life. I could get killed working for you. Some sicko or some crazy drunk. You <laughs> We seen it all on TV in the day room. <laughs> you busting out of Lakewood like that. Faking that palsy fit. And they beating that guard half to death with his own key ring. <laughs> that spree you went on. Stopping at the filling station for some cash. They kidnapping that old dude. Pumping the gas. Yeah. And then, then that cab driver, he comes out of the bathroom. He starts messing with you. And you, you shoots him with his own piece. That is not the work, Mom. That gun, it went off, Carl. That's what guns do, dog. They go off. Arlene! Arlene! Arlene? Well, how do you got? Interrupting Jack, me and Arlie, we got business. She's calling herself Arlene. <laughs> well, I call my ladies what I feel like, chicken man, and you call yourself gone. <laughs> I don't take orders from you. Well, you've been taking them from somebody. <laughs> Where'd you get that outfit, huh? Army surplus store? Then it brought me home from Pine Ridge. Guard, now it's. Look, I don't know what you're doing here, but I seriously advise you. What you, you gonna do about it, huh? You gonna lock me up in the toilet? You and who else, Batman? 
You watch your mouth pump. Pump? I'm hungry. You heard him. Keep pumping. Shut up. All he tells you. I'll see no hurt. Good for him. He's going to close his mouth. Uh -oh. Close it for Why him. don't you wrap me apart? Don't fuck with me. It ain't helping. You know what? You work dirty in my I got to do to see. What do I need with another beat up guard? All that blood just ugly up my friends. Bye, y'all. Bye, I call. You know, man, you really ought to shine them shoes. Well, how about if we eat? You're gonna catch your death dress like that. Turn around and Your parole officer is gonna tell you to stay away from guys like that for your own good. Those types are just like the suckers of my tomatoes back home. They're gonna take everything right out of you. You gotta pull them off for you, Harley. Arlene. Arlene, you hear what I said? That's what I told him. That's exactly what I did tell him. Who was that, anyhow? Long time ago, he called for the trick again. He was a kid. I was at a place with you. Carl was there, huh? No. He picked me up and we went to Alabama. There's this wreck and all, and I ended up in Lakewood for bartering. <laughs> it was him that got, it. got me pregnant, too. <laughs> that was Joey's father. Yeah, but he don't know that. Just as well. Guys like that, they don't know what they do. Mother was here a while ago. Said she seen Joey. You know, I wish I had a kid. Life ain't well complete without kids to play ball with and take fish. But my Dory, though, she had them back aches and that neuralgia from the day I married her till the day she died. She was a good woman, though. No card playing, no drinking, real sweet voice. Yeah, what was that song she, she used to sing? She says Joey's a really good looking kid. Well, his mom ain't bad. I like when they uh, tried to get me to have abortion. So they was just thinking of you, Arlene. Yeah, I would have killed myself. I told him that. I would have, too. But they took him away after he was born? Yeah, and I guess I went crazy after that. Thought if I could just get out and find you him know, and get him home. I don't remember any of that on the TV. I just remember how you were smiling, yelling at them cameras, how you told that cab driver not to touch you. I never seen his cab. Oh, I tell you bye. Bye. You're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna give people medicine and uh, take out their. Uh, no. Be no doctor. Just be a preacher. Saying our Father who is in heaven. Heaven. So people go when they die. Or when someone kills them before they even get a chance to. No. No, don't be no preacher neither. Just be a. Let's go to school. And learn good. So you can make everybody else feel so stupid all the time. And the best thing for you to be is a baby. Because nobody beats up on babies. Well, puts them on. Baby, 
people. People is made of babies. So the best thing for you to do is just stay right here with me. So no one can get you and make you cry. And if they lay one finger on you, I'll beat the screaming shit out of them. They lay. I even, I even blow on you and Ain't got a can, I guess. We'll just use this old sack for now. I ain't never emptying another garbage can. Well, I reckon you know how by now. You about ready for bed? I suppose. I'm a little tired myself. <clears throat> Thanks for the chicken. Oh, you right, well. Look big. How about I rub your back? No, you go on now. Come on now. I ain't all that tired. Uh, I'm tired. Well, see then, a back rub is just what the doctor wants. You hurt me. Has to hurt a little, but won't do no good. Oh, stop it! Be a lot nice if you was lying down. Wouldn't hurt as much. No, I ain't gonna sell you. I'm just telling you to go. Okay then. I'm just gonna get my hat. <laughs> just relax. Don't you go ahead and scare me, okay? You ain't getting nothing from me. I don't want nothing from you, honey. Oh, uh, don't you call me. Let me up! Why? I ain't holding you down. Then let me up! Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, get up. Oh, go ahead. I'll be happy to stay here with you tonight. Make sure you'll be all right. You ain't spent a night by yourself in a long time. I remember how. Well, now you don't get up. You got an alarm? It ain't all that hard. Yeah. Yes. Now give me a little kiss, and then I won't go. You stay away from me, hmm? What's it gonna hurt you to give me a little kiss? Well, get out! I said get out! Look now, you don't want me to go. You're just beginning to get interested. Your old girly tub is playing up, and I like that. Yeah, yeah, you brother got swat you for. Oh, I've been hit by you before. I'm not gonna take anything you no, got. I'll mess you up good. Now, Harvey, uh, you ain't had a man in a long time, and the ones you had ain't been nothing. Well, get out! Ain't not to run out of too long. Don't seem like you get all shriveled up. All right, you son of a bitch. I'm killing you, Greg. You will. You kill old Benny. You don't kill old Benny like you don't kill that cow Huh? Mom! This is how you got your door in. Right, Benny? Now what you got to do?
She be sucking on that pillow like she getting paid for it. And then next is Betty the Frog. Well, she got her legs all up and down like some fucking ribbit. Ribbit. Oh, then it's doors eating pork rinds. Think somebody's gonna grab them out of her mouth if she eats them during the day. Doris ain't dumb. She's fat, but she ain't dumb. <laughs> hey, you notice how many girls is fat here? Well, then it'd be Ron the snoring and Ma being wheezing and Suzanne coughing. Then Clara and Ellen. They'd be real still, whispering family shit. Who's getting that line? Who's getting new work assignment? And who can get extra desserts and for how much? Them's the two that really run this place. My bed right next to Ellie's for sure got some shit hidden in by now. Crackers or some shit gonna leak out all over my sheets. I mean, one time I found a fucking grilled cheese in my pillow. I even had two of the little warty pickles. Christ. Okay. Uh, Linda and Lucille. They ain't sleeping, praying that's them. Linda, she be saying them Hail Marys so you can just about scream. And then Lucille, she told me once she didn't believe in no God. No, just some spirits that go around whooshing, like making people do stuff weird. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to start down back the other side. We got, um, well, I'd like to see you try. I've been listening at you for the last three hours. Oh, y'all. Your husband's getting laid off. Your, your lettuce is getting eat by rabbits. Crap city. No, you shut up! Well, what do I care if I wake everybody up? I want the nerves. I'm getting sick in here. And there's bugs in here. Dog pay may now be lunch. Warden. I thought 456 was leaving here. Is there some problem? I can take care of her, all right. We're just tired of taking her shit, if you pardon me. Please. You ain't seen nothing yet. Washington will decide on a transfer. Till then, you do your job. She don't belong here. The rest of those girls are- Betty Rickon and Mary Alice Walt report to the laundry. Most of those girls are mostly nice people go along with things. She needs a cage. I need a knife. How did it occur to you? No, we can't send the rest of them home, huh? Ooh, would you like that? And just keep her? Dorm A may now eat lunch. A dorm with a lunch. Well, that's a swell idea. Let everybody out set bitches like hoes, Claw. Smart ass warden. Think she's running a hotel. You need some trouble, bitch. I can wait. For what? For the time she tries getting out and I'm here by myself, I'll show that screeching slutter thing. That ain't the way. Hell, it ain't beat the living Look, shit out of her. Look, I little thing like her. You gotta do it like all the rest. You get your shorts washed by giving Betty Ricky Milky Ways, and you get your chest fixed by giving Frankie Hill extra time in the shower with Lucille Smith. You get old Arlie girl to behave herself with a stick of gum. You gotta have her brand, though. Y'all screwing that wildcat. Watch. Now, where's that piece of juicy fruit I had in this here pocket? Hmm. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Huh. Why hell? I guess I already chewed it. Huh. How's it going, kid? Yeah. 
show that you can be with the other girls, you can get out. And how am I supposed to prove that being in here? You can get out your mail again? And your visitors? You're just fucking with me. You ain't never gonna let me out. Ollie. I've been in this adjustment room for four months, I think. You see the other girls on the dorm? Huh? Walking around free to do whatever they want? If we felt the way you seem to think we'd do, hell, everyone would be in lockup. Listen, man, when you get out of segregation, you go to the records office. You have all your time explained to you. It won't make no sense. Oh, they'll go through it all very slowly. Huh? When you're eligible for parole. How many days of good time you have? How many industrial days you earn? What, what constitutes meritorious good time? And all your setbacks from your write-ups, of course, and uh, oh, all your time in segregation. I, I don't even remember what I've done to get in this lockup. Mm. Well, I do. And if you ever do it again, or anything like it again, you'll be right back here in lockup, where you will stay until you forget how to do it. Huh? Well, what was it? Just remember what I said. Now then. What was it? Oh, and all of the prison chaplain will be coming by to visit you today. I don't want to see no chaplain. Did I say if you wanted to see the chaplain? No, I did not. I said the prison chaplain will be coming by to visit you today. Now, Mrs. Roberts, why hasn't this lady- Get out of my hall! Chow time, cutie pie. I ain't never eaten no more scrambled eggs. These ain't eggs. They throw it up. And I want a fork! That's for coffee, and that's for milk, and bread, and that's cookies, and cheese, and crackers, and shampoo, and soap, and uh, bacon, and liver cheese. No, take a look. Mm -hmm. um, peanut butter and jelly, and ketchup, and some onions, and Shoot up. <laughs> well, ain't no need getting everything all at once. Coffee, milk, ketchup, cookies, cheese, onions, jelly. Coffee, milk, cookies, shit, oh, shampoo, cheese. Panda, I gotta have my of my dolly bag. Panda ain't here. It's Ruby upstairs. She's got five dollars I loaned her.
She really cleaned out the place, didn't she? Yeah, it took everything. She didn't have much. She didn't do nothing here except sleep. Yeah, well, at least the rent's paid today. Huh? I'll be working by here. Oh, you haven't seen Candy in a while. No, I think she was in seventh grade when I saw her. Oh, she's grown up now, you know? Yeah, I was thinking she might come by. <laughs> Honey, she ain't coming by. He keeps up. His place is pretty far from here. But, <coughs> but what? But she had a lot of friends, you know. They might be coming by. Many of me. Yeah. Mother said he was a boyfriend. <coughs> well, I should have known. Oh, I shouldn't have said nothing. It's okay. I just didn't want you to be surprised when John showed up here with his tongue hanging out. I should have known anyway, it's okay. Mm. No, it ain't okay. <coughs> God, I got the dirty fingernails all over and pimps out buying green. God damn it! Hey, hi, that ain't your problem. No. Doris, you stick your hand in here again and I swear I'll bite it off. She'll figure it out soon enough. And you, you ain't my mama, so why don't you just cut the mama crap? I wasn't gonna cuss no more. Nothing in the parole room says you can't get pissed. My first daddy out of Gilbert till I done the damn craziest. Oh yeah, a long time ago. But hell, I heat the whole gallon of milk right out the window my first daddy. It hit anybody? It bounced. Make me feel a hell of a lot better. I said, Ruben, this gallon of milk can bounce back. So can you. That's really what you thought. Well, not exactly. I had to keep signing it for about a year before I finally believed it. But hell, I was mopping Slut Lady's floor once, and she come in and she heard me sign gallon of milk, gallon of milk, five me. She did. Thought I was too crazy to mop her floors. <laughs> Hi, you have a good trip. Candace says you were in Arkansas. Alabama. It was okay. This, uh, this guard, well, he used to be a guard. He just quit. He ain't never seen Kentucky, so he drove me. Pine Ridge. Yep. It's called Ed now, ain't it? Yeah, that's dumb. They put you with men so they can get you to be seen with them. It's supposed to be more natural, I guess. I guess. Well, I say it sucks. Steal a prison, no matter how many pictures you put up on the walls or how many dirty movies they show, you still gotta be counted five times a day. You don't, you don't seem like Candy's sad. She, uh, she tell you I was a killer. More like the meanest bitch that ever walked. <laughs> oh, I've seen lots worse than you. I've been lots worse. Oh, God, to you, didn't it? Well, you just gotta get over it. Don't Think you out. start it on me. Right, sorry. It's okay. X cause is the worst. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, I done that about a year ago. New waitress we had. Gave her my little going straight speech. No booze, no man, no buying on credit, shit like that. She quit that very night. <laughs> Stole my fucking raincoat on her way out. Mm. Some spray chum. You a waitress. I am the queen of Greece. Make the finest French fries you ever did see. You make a lot of money. I sure know how to, but I ain't about to go back inside for doing it. Cooking out is better than eating in, I say. You think of all these things you say. Oh, you know what I hate? Making salads. <laughs> Cutting up all that stuff and flopping it in a bowl. Someday, someday I'm gonna hear, toss salad, and I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna toss out a tomato, toss out a head of lettuce, and toss out a big old cabin. Is it funny seeing all that stuff flying out of the kitchen? Yeah. Hey, I mean, you had your lunch yet. Uh, I ain't hungry. Oh, I got raisin toast. No. What do you mean? What is she do to me? You got eyes. You know, I get ready to protect myself from a bunch of weirdos and then you decide to look. Think stop look. You ain't seen when there's these packs of cigarettes on my bed and thinking that I owe them or something. Ooh. Ooh, stopped up, huh? And you ain't looking when there are kitchen workers that's in there, mommies, 
in line. Knights they know they only bake half enough brownies. Let me try. You ain't looking. I swear, you ain't seen all them letters coming out and, go, and, and, and coming in with, with visitors? I'll tell you something. One of them workmen, he buries dope for Betty Ricky in little plastic bottles under the stick bushes by the water tower. Now, you see that? Oh, oh no, you only see me? Well, you don't see some shit. I know if you're gonna stay around here. I'll tell you what she does. <laughs> Doors for me three rollers from the beauty school class. Three fucking cake rollers, the, the ones with the little holes. I didn't ask her to, she just done it. Let me give her a try. I can fix my own sink. And I stupid, I was thinking maybe that she were different from all of them others. And then that night, everybody disappears from the john and she's wanting to brush my hair. Sure, brush my hair. Now, how'd I know she was gonna crack her head open on the sink? I just barely even touched her. What a chiclet. But when you gonna ask what she was gonna do to me? Huh? When are you gonna ask that? You don't give a shit. No, you don't give a shit about that, because Dawes such a good girl. Don't work. We have a dishwasher quitting this week if you're interested. I need something that pays good. Oh, you tired? No. You want any card work? No. Any key punch? No. Well, then I hate to tell you, but us old timers have all the good cooking and cleaning jobs. Oh, she even took the can of raid. Oh, just as well, empty anyway. She hit the bugs with it. Oh. And there's that phone call you were talking about. Yeah, and I'll get you that number for the dishwashing job just in case. Hey, how about cards? You play cards? Oh, of course you do. I get so bored of beating myself all the time at solitaire. Damn, we're be so good at it. Know, maybe, maybe I walk to the corner and make my phone call from there. It's always broke. What? The phone at the corner. Maybe. Only, what? it ain't at the corner. It's inside the A&P. Maybe it'll be fixed. Look, I ain't gonna force you to play cards with me. It's time for my programs anyway. I gotta get some pickle loaf and things. Suit so yourself. I'll be there if you change your mind. I got some stuff to do here first. Look, I'll charge you a dime. I'll charge you a dime if you make you feel better. Okay. Mine's the one with the little I'll picture of Johnny Cash on the door. Keep my eyes up with a piece of twine. Keep my eyes wide open all the time. Da 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 da. If you be mine, please pull the twine. <laughs> Can't sing for shit. <laughs> you know what elephants got between their toes? I don't care. Slow natives. <laughs> that ain't funny. Hey, Davis! Conversation is rehabilitating, Evans. You want some water? When does the chaplain come? How about some Kool Aid to go with? Is it today? You want some gum? Does the chaplain come today? Kool-Aid's going up 15 cents in tax, you know? You get out to learn all about that. Income tax, sales tax, property tax, gas, hey! electric, water. Gas is coming back, so don't mess up. I ain't. What's he tell you? You got you so starry right anyway. He just talks to me. I'll talk to you. Where's Frankie Hill? She's gone. Al? Pretty soon. When? You miss her, don't you? Ain't got nobody to bullshit with. Them stories you guys tell. Ooh. You think that for us now, huh, Frankie? Huh? Stupidest thing she ever said. It's the first thing she was gonna be doing when she got She's out. She's gonna go out and get laid, right? <laughs> Shut up. So the first thing she was gonna be doing was going to her garage. She said it smelled like grease and turf or something. Hey. Turpin time. Yeah, ain't gasoline. Quit. She was gonna pour oil into her lawnmower. A long pony spout and red can. And cut her grass up and back, up and back. They got this grass catch on the side of it. 
Say she likes scooping up all that fresh cut grass and spreading that under the trees. She said it makes her real hungry for some lunch. Well, got power moments, huh? They done something to her. She, she just got, got better. Nerves. She just got better, that's all. You know what else? They gave her a fork to eat with last week. Fork, you know? A fucking fork? How long has it been since I had a fucking fork to eat with? Well, I wish I could help you with that. <laughs> I ain't your honey. Look, that's my girl. I ain't your girl! I ain't your wildcat! Straighten up! 
girl. You don't forget how to behave. I worked hard on them things. They nice too. Yeah. Babies and little kids. And I bet you fooled them good doing this shit. I weren't trying to fool No, them. I can see that scene. Them say, oh, well, I just love one of them nice young sweaters. They like them. Yeah, those turkeys, sure they did. Where else they gonna get their free sweaters, huh? They're free watching. They're free. Step right up. Get your convict special shoe shot. No, I don't want no money off. I was just doing me. Cause I was laughing. They give you. them away for Christmas presents. What you got sweet, huh? Oh, sweeping, boys. I'm sweeping. You know? It's like a pink pen in here. So maybe you like it, but I don't. Get one of them mops. I'll take one of them, too. Got another habit, didn't you? What, you turn into an ark now, or what? You scratching and sniffing like crazy. I see a man eating cookies, and that's what you see, too. And I bought them cookies from you. And I wouldn't come no closer if I do. Then take the cookies and get out. Huh? Oh, oh, buddy. Miss R1, come go and call the books, and we'll just have us the best time. Look, I'm going to stay here and get a job and save money so I, I can get Joey now. I ain't supposed to see no way it's coming. You don't know nobody else, only who you know ain't a convict. I mean, huh? I mean them. What if they don't want to meet you? You ain't exactly a nice girl. You got to be jiving about this job shit. I can work. Doing what? I don't know, cooking, cleaning, maybe something that pays Well, you got your choice. You can do cooking and cleaning. You can do something that pays good. Huh? You ain't gonna get rich working on your knees. You come with me, you'll have money. Stay here, you won't have shit. You got any Kool-Aid? Ruby works and she does okay. Oh, Ruby who? Upstairs. She works nights and has all day to do. What exactly do she do, huh? Seats flicks, takes rising cabs by a secret Oh know? yeah, I know. Sounds like the day room in the fucking drawing. But she likes it. All right. Say you stay here. Finally find yourself some job. What, this your boyfriend? The chaplain give it to you. Say it's dishwasher. OK? Okay? Okay. And maybe you make 75 a week. 75 for standing over a sink full of greasy gray water. Fishing out blobs of bread, pieces of lettuce. People put chewed up meat in napkins. You gotta pick it out. Eight hours a day, six days a week for 75 lousy pictures of Big Daddy George. How long it take you to make 75 working for me, huh? Huh? A night. Just in a night. Two hours, maybe. Now, it's the same fucking 75 bills. You either work or wait for it, or you make it in two hours. You work two hours a night for me. How much you got in a week? Huh? Come on. 275, that's 150. Now, 350, that's 450. You stay here. Make seven and five a week. You come with me, you make 450. Now, Arlie, 450 is more than 75. Stay here, your hands, they, they don't get wrinkled. Your feet ain't gonna swell up. <laughs> I do this guy in Bricktown, I've already told you what he does. <laughs> come on, come on with me. Work two hours a night, you sleep all morning. Spend the day, buying eyelashes, trying out perfume. Come home. Have somebody open the door for you. Saying good evening, Miss Hope So. Now it's not, now it ain't. It's Joey, I'm thinking about. <laughs> if you was a kid, you want your mom getting so worn out. Washing dishes, she don't have no time, no money to spend on it. Huh? Huh? 
Come with me, you buy them big yellow bears. Stingray box with his name written on the fenders. I like that whole talk. Kind of sounds like cold slow, don't it? <laughs> Joey be telling all his friends about his mama living up in New York City and being so rich and sending him stuff all the time. I want to be with him. So fly him up to see you. Take him on that boat that got goes around the island. Take him up to the Empire State Club and let him play King Kong. He'll be talking about that trip his whole life. You got him chocolate milk. You know they got this motel down in Mexico next I don't want to go back to prison. Go oh, back, Captain. Who said anything about going back to prison? What do you think I'm going to be doing? Keeping you out. Yeah, like last time. Like you getting drunk. Like you looking for King John. I ain't even hot in this dump. You coming or not, huh? You want to stay here? You want to wash dishes? I could give a shit. Damn it. If you come and you say it now, lady, huh? to the store, I thought maybe you forgot something. You this cook I've been hearing about? I cook some Buys your nice shoes, now don't get cooking. Why don't you hock your watch and have something done in your hair? Why don't you drop by the coffee shop? I'll spit in your eggs. They let you take home the half eat chili dogs? You, you got half eat chili dogs for brains. I'll stop by later? No. Stay. It's a shit. Should have took the dude's hat. That guy preaching about that new world ain't gonna watch the work. I'm getting too old for it. You don't need me. I'm getting too old for it anyway. I don't want to discuss business in front of strangers. What time are you leaving? Six. You want to come meet me at this bar right I'm having my wheels delivered. You still in the car? I already laid it out for you. I ain't never lied to you, have I? No. Be there. <laughs> be there. It's all the words I got. I don't bang nobody. Be there. For the Lord who saith it not his saints. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. I imagine you want to be putting these up yourself. He do this? No. No. <coughs> Can't trust these sacks. I've seen bad boys punching holes in them at the store. Can't trust anybody. Well, you don't want to trust him, that's for sure. We spent a lot of time together, me and Carl. He live here. No. He just broke out of Bricktown in the Wildwoods. I got word that saying he'd meet me. I didn't believe it then, but he don't lie, Carl, though. Oh, you think he'd gone with him? They'll catch him. I told him, but he don't listen. Funny, ain't it? The number of men come with our ears. How much that dishwashing job pay? I don't know, maybe 75? That's what he said. Oh, he tell you some way out of your hands and knees, grubbing for nothing. Get old, be broke, ain't never had a nice dress to wear. Yeah. He tell you nobody's gonna wanna be with you because you done time. 
Yeah. He telling you your kid is going to be ashamed of you, and nobody's going to believe you if you tell him you changed. Yeah. Then he was right. But when you make your two nickels, you can keep both of them. Okay, well, I can't do that. Can't do what? Live like that, be like being dead. You can always call in sick. Stay home. Stand up for pizza. Watch a Johnny Carson on TV. Get a bus way up Preston Street and go bowling. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I can't get no work that'll pay good because I can't do nothing. And it'll be years before I get a nice rug for this place. I'll never even have some old Ford to drive around. I'm I'll never take Joey to no fair. I won't be invited on the five roads and I'll be wearing this fucking dress for the rest of my life. What kind of life is that? It's outside. Outside? Outside? Honey, I'll either be inside this apartment or inside some kitchen sweating over those things. Outside is where you get to do what you want to do. Not where you got to eat worse than you didn't. Work some shit jobs ain't any worse than you didn't prison. That ain't why I quit being hateful so I could come back and rot in some slum. Well, you can wash dishes to pay the rent on your slum, or you can spread your legs for any shit that I got to pay on. And I don't live in no slum. I'm sorry, I just thought. Oh, you thought it was gonna be different? Well, it ain't. And the sooner you believe it, the better off you'll be. And he said I was changed. He told me if I thought he was hard me. Where's, where's the chaplain? I got something to tell him. <laughs> he ain't coming. Oh, it's Tuesday. He said the meek. He comes to see me on Tuesday. The meek is just quiet and good. Chad has been transferred, darling. The meek. Come by now, you know. As soon as Ollie. Ollie, who said he's what, not coming what are you back? Now? Pine Ridge, there was this go. He would have told was, me if he couldn't come back. Step this for you. I was this. Picture Jesus, look at that. This chaplain. Ollie. <laughs> but I want to talk to him. This chaplain. <laughs> I was in lock up by Tell him to come back and see me! Two years after? This chaplain said I had to, said all it was my hateful self and she was- But I, I want the chaplain! And God would find some way to take her away and it was God's will so I could be the me. The me. Them just quiet and get whatever they want. I forget that word. They get the earth and inherit. Yeah, and that's why I done it. You done what? What I done, because the chaplain, he said, I'd sit up nights waiting for him to come talk to me. I mean, what are you talking about? What did you do? They told me after I was out and it was all over. They said, they said after the chaplain got transferred, I, I didn't know why he didn't come back no more until after. They said it was three whole nights at first, me screaming to God to come get Ollie and kill her. They give me this medicine and thought I was better than that night it happened. The officer was in the dorm doing counseling. They didn't hear nothing, but they come back out where I was, and I'm standing there telling them to come see real quiet. I'm telling them. But there's all this blood all over my shirt, and then and, and I got this fork. I'm holding real tight my hand. This fork, they said, so I stole it from the kitchen and give it to me so I'd kill myself and shut up bothering them. But there's all this blood all over me. Well, I've been stabbing myself. And I'm saying, Arlie is dead for what she done to me. Arlie is dead. And I didn't scream. I just kept saying it over and over. Arlie is dead. Arlie is dead. They couldn't get that fork out of my hand. Till I woke up in the infirmary and they said, they said I almost died and they said they're glad I didn't. And they was real nice to me. And they asking me if I felt better now and bringing me chocolate pudding and I'm I'd, sorry, I'd, I'd be eating or sitting up looking at the ceiling. And I'd get a tear in my eye, but it just dry up, you know. And it, it didn't run out of nothing. It didn't run out of nothing. And then 
pretty soon I was well and all the sisters were saying they seen such a change in me and and then they give me yarn and it sweaters and now I like a new skirt to wear. And sometimes let me choose it. And they, they said things ain't never been as clean as when I was doing housekeeping in the dorm. And then I got in the honor college and nobody was fooling with me no more or nothing. I just done my work in nits. And I don't think about it no more. I don't think about it no more. Said people here to keep calling me all in. And I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it, but I done. I mean, I did, I did. I mean, all it was. <laughs> oh, they was a pretty mean kid. But I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, me. You can steal. You can steal love people that's gone. Look, the least you can do is take my number and give me a ring at the motel if you need some. Here, I wrote it down for you. Something else? Yeah, these tile things. 
They was in the chicken last night. I thought I might be needing them, but they give us new towels every day at that motel. <laughs> Okay, I got the number. Right. Any old thing now, just any old thing. Even when I come, you call. Careful going down. <laughs> Bye, Benny. Right. That number now, don't you lose it, you know? In case you need something. No. Waitress put her phone number in matchbooks. Give to guys who left her nice tips. Anyway, one night, this little old guy calls her, comes over, says he works at this museum. And he ain't got no money, but he's got this hat that belonged to Queen Victoria. And she felt real sorry for him. So she screwed him for this little old lacy hat. Then she takes the hat back the next day to the museum, thinking she'll get a reward or something. And you know what they do? Give her a free membership. Telling her thank you so much and we're so grateful. And wouldn't you like to see the money she got downstairs? All the time just stolen. Waiting, cause they call the police. You do time for that. County jail. County jail. You uh you got any old mate? Huh? You know. Oh, cards. It's the only one I know. Old maid, huh? I gotta put my food up first. About an hour. I'll be up. Great. Those plants is real ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shoot. 